Yeah, here's Kevin again. Uh, this time, um, I've kind of switched over to my uh, ancient armies and, of course, of Rome. And there's Caesar himself. Yes, this is a video of my Caesarian Roman army. You know, it's funny is when you ask people about, you know, if they have a Roman army or not. I mean, it can be anything. It can be early Rome and Republican Roman or Caesarian Roman or Imperial. It could be late Rome. Byzantines, it can be a lot of different things. But when I think of a Roman army, this is the one that comes to my mind. Um, this may be the imperial one. But this is a, a really unique army. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about showing it. So, you know, let's, uh, let's get in and see what this thing looks like uh, in its entirety. So, here they are, my Caesarian Romans. I'm particularly very proud of these. I, I really enjoy these figures. It's um, forged in battle and Essex. I had two uh, legions from Essex. I couldn't, couldn't part from them because I still thought they were really great figures. But when I got the forged in battle figures, I really enjoyed painting them up. And... Um, they really, really turned out nice. So the ones that I, I, uh, oh, I tried to organize them um, for more flexibility. So for an example, this is a 10 cohort legion, or could be. Um, let me see if I can pan in a little bit further. So they're hand-painted shields, and um, they could be five cohorts, and I could put two of these blocks together to make one legion of 10 cohorts, or that could be one legion, or all of them together could be one legion if you wanted to go one-to-one -one or make it something look like that. So, I mean, I had a lot of flexibility, um, but it's so large because I think that the wars between Pompey and Caesar are very interesting and the Roman Civil War. So that's exactly how this was built, to give uh, enough on each side. And um, yeah, I, I think they, they turned out really great. I tried to give them a little bit of, of uh, variation in their shield patterns. Some of the legions uh, look like that, other ones are a little bit more, more uniform. For an example, that one right there. So yeah, I, I think they turned out really, really nice. This one here has, uh, you know, the double bores on each side of the shield. I think that turns out nice. But those are decals. That was uh, uh, done with a, with a decal. Uh, those were done a little bit cheaper with nothing on them at all. And, uh, and then these were done much, much later with, with um, hand painted. Uh, you can see the different airs of of uh, of painting. So I tried to morph them all in so that it looked like one army. Don't know if I achieved it very well, but I think it looks looks pretty nice. This is uh, the Caesar uh, command stand. I don't know how people get that. Um, he's uh, reading a battle map. It could be Caesar. It could be Pompey. Then I've got uh, this Roman commander here too. So um, that could be either either or with uh, with their lictors, uh, etc. So anyway, two different commanders, and then each legion has its its uh, centurion and its commanders. And um, yeah, then of course you can't forget the light troops, uh, a few Cretan archers. Slingers, Balearic Slingers from the Spanish Isles, um, just some light troops, and each each legion has some in the front. I could put out a lot more. I just didn't for this, but I could probably triple or quadruple the amount of light skirmishers out there. Uh, the cavalry are, are also, there's a Gaelic cavalry that I can use to bring in, or... I can use uh, Germanic cavalry or Roman cavalry. Uh, these are Essex 
and I think they look pretty good still. I, they're a nice figure, to be honest. They paint up well. I like them, and um, I just couldn't uh, couldn't bear getting rid of them because there was maybe a a, a newer a newer figure. So I kind of a little bit nostalgic there. But you can see the forged and battle figures. If I get a little bit closer, they they don't look too bad, to be honest. I really I really like them. They painted up really easy. Um, but anyway, that's that's the Roman army and its uh, battle formations. I just put it out here because if you put it all in one line, it takes up too much of the table. And um, you know, these are forged in battle Romans, uh, Roman cavalry. Well, I think they're also quite quite nice. Yeah. But anyway, I'm kind of moving now into a little bit of the Roman period. I did the. Uh, Celts and the Germans and various other Carthage and various other enemies of Rome, uh, the Pyrrhic nations, the Greeks. So now it was time to break out the Imperials, or not the Imperials, the Republic, um, or Caesarian, I guess you would call it. Get that confused sometimes. Anyway, I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's not a very long. Um, video but you know people always ask me also how do I base things and I have to say I I've I use a um, 80 millimeter frontage so two 40s and then 40 millimeter depth and for me that's one unit on on the battlefield um, if I'm playing Hail Caesar if I'm playing anything else I can just double it up uh, to make it a much larger unit so that could be one unit if I wanted it to be uh, or one smaller Sometimes I'm mounted on 40 by 40 stands. Um, but I think that, that for me, that's one unit, one tactical unit. And well, I think it works out great. I'm going to be trying a couple of other new rule sets in the next month. Uh, Age of Hannibal from the... Um, from uh, Greg, from uh, the... Uh, TV, video TV show, the, uh, geez, escaped my mind right at the moment. Um, and uh, I've tried Impetus, I've tried To the Strongest and the rest, and they're all, all very, very good, give all similar results. And um, Little Wars TV, there you go, jeepers. Anyway, this uh, concludes my Roman army. I hope that you enjoyed it. If uh, you want to build one, it's highly efficient on the table. It's a lot of fun. And uh, they're really, really fearsome and not too hard to paint. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks. Well, there you have it. That was probably a little bit more longer winded than most of you probably would have enjoyed. And um, I still need to work on my cinema photography. It's... Um, can't seem to get in as close as I'd like. But then again, with 15 millimeter, I'm a little bit nervous of getting in <laughs> as close. Uh, they're not as uh, pretty, of course, as 25 millimeter. But yeah, I, I think they're, I think they're, they're really nice. You know, it's, it's the, um, you know, fighting against the Gauls or um, the Roman civil wars or even wars uh, in the East. Uh, against Methodates, uh, etc. I mean, you can use this army for a lot of different, different airs, different flexibility, and anyway, I'm very partial to it. It uh, it's not as homogeneous as I would like it to be. It was painted over a many year period of time, so I hope that you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on my on my next one. Take care.